What's going on guys, it's Eric here from Bruce VT bringing you guys another video. This time I'm going to do what's on my iPhone X, iPhone 10, whatever you want to call it, the latest iPhone. So basically, starting from your widgets, right there, and then moving over. I have nothing here, I usually do this on all my phones, just to show, like just the background. Obviously I have the Tesla symbol, because I'm a huge fan of Tesla, I like what they do and I like all their basically what they're doing with their cars and stuff like that so at the bottom here if the camera focuses there we go I got the phone system settings messages then in here I got Pandora Spotify Amazon music um, Shazam and SoundCloud so basically those are the music things that I go through I don't use Apple music um, Apple Music is good, just not a, a huge fan of it, even though I do have an iPhone and everything, Apple products, I eventually probably will use it, but as of right now, I really don't pay for anything. I mean, I do have Amazon Prime, so I do use some of the, the music qualities, but you do not have access to all the music stuff. Then, for the next page, it's usually just all the normal iPhone apps that you get, besides like a couple. I have the bit emoji, then mail, calendar, photos, camera, maps, clock, news. Notes, reminders, Apple Store Health, Wallet, FaceTime, Calculator, Apple Watch, Files, Activities, then all your extras down here. I haven't really changed anything in here, so it's all the other apps that are in there. Then you got your stock, Apple Music, uh, Safari. I do use Safari every now and then, then Home, then Find My iPhone. Then on to the next page. So basically from this page and the next two pages are basically all the apps that I use. So I have the... TV app, obviously YouTube, Chrome is what I use most of the time for the browsers, iFunny, which is just funny memes, stuff like that. It's pretty good if you want a good laugh. The Weather Channel, uh, Framebit, that is basically for YouTubers to try to get sponsors, stuff like that. I'm just, I just found out about it. I'm going to start trying to use it. Like, if I even open this up, I have to sign in. Like, I haven't even started any of it yet, so I'm still looking into it. Then you have 1Password great great app it'll remember all your passwords for you all you have to do is remember one big password that you make yourself then since you have the if you have the iPhone X or basically any phone that has like a, a sensor on it like fingerprint sensor most of the time it'll get you in using your face or obviously using your fingerprint but great app to use if you have a lot of passwords then Gmail uh, sleep cycle I haven't used this in a long time. I just downloaded it because it's a good thing to have. So I'll open it up and show you guys because I haven't even opened it up on my phone yet because I just recently downloaded it. So basically, you put this right next to your bed and it'll basically allow your phone to uh, just monitor your sleep and whatever it will tell you like oh you're most active during this time you're least active during this time and I feel like it's pretty accurate because usually if I wake up during the night sometimes I usually check my phone or check the check the clock to see what time it is when I woke up usually that's a bad thing to do because then you know you have to be up in so many hours and not really a smart thing to do because then it messes with your your sleep schedule and your mindset when you try to go back to sleep but I definitely a thing to download if you want to know how you're sleeping and what you do during the night stuff like that the next one is basically a to do uh, apps like stuff to do so basically in here you can create what you need to do like groceries watch movies random stuff to do then obviously I have school stuff in here I have to so I'm basically a senior in college right now so I have to talk to my counselors and ask about a certain class I'm about to take because I'm doing business so, I have that stuff in there to remind me that I need to do that. Then, navigation stuff, Waze, great app. Let you know, like, if there's cops and stuff, if you like to speed and stuff like that. Then, Google Maps, which I think is better than Apple Maps. Then, you have Google Earth. And then, social, time hop, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, group me. I use group me just for, like, playing baseball and stuff like that because I do play college baseball. So, I use that for, like, all my group stuff. And sometimes I have to use it for school for like projects and stuff like that. Then YouTube videos, what I see for people that are subscribed to the channel and like videos and stuff and comment. Then Facebook, Facebook Messenger, LinkedIn, 
LinkedIn is really good if you're trying to look for jobs and jobs out there because a lot of people post stuff on that. Then House Party is basically an app to where you can have like I think like up to like 10 friends join at one time. But now since Snapchat updated to their recent version, now you can have like 16 people or something like that. So House Party is not really important anymore. Then you got Skype. Then this was. This was basically a, um, forget the, it was Flipgram or video or something like that, but now they changed it to something else. But you, it's kind of like a, a Vine, but not as popular Vine. Then you have uh, Trimble, Trimble, whatever you want to pronounce that social media app. I don't really use that too much, so it's just on here. Then the next app I have Finance, PayPal, Fifth Third is my bank. Mint is basically a place where you can track like all your payments and stuff like that. You know what's going in and out that everyone knows. Bimbo, easy way to send money to someone, then travel. Um, gas Guru is basically, you click on this, it'll give you gas prices for wherever you're at basically. Like it'll, it'll find you and let you know like where the gas prices are at and stuff like that pretty interesting if it loads here I'll show you see look it'll give you up gas prices for every gas station usually it's pretty accurate not bad then uh, then the next app is fully or whatever how you pronounce that but it basically just tracks like all the miles I went what I'm getting on average stuff like that how much I've spent since I've been using this app I had 14 Phillips and that's how much then it gives you like gas averages and what my average gas price is that I pay for, the average cost up fee, and how much I use per mile. Pretty good app if your car doesn't tell you like how much you're getting um, MPG wise. I just want to know just to see if I'm maxing the fuel economy of my car. Then next I have games, this is Construction Simulator, Clutch Clans, um, Real Race 3, Euchre. Euchre is a pretty interesting game if you don't know it. It's from like the Cincinnati area, which is where I'm from, and that's where it originated. If you don't know what that game is, download it, it's pretty fun. Then you have Blackjack, Fortnite, PUBG, then MLB uh, 18, that's Tap Baseball, then HQ, HQ is a pretty fun game to play. Then on to the next one, then Shopping. This is all your shopping um, RIDS deals or whatever you pronounce that. Um, it's basically an app you click on here and like there, these people that have this app actually have a YouTube channel, I forget what the name of the YouTube channel is. but. I watched one of their videos one day and they said they had this app and they basically go online and find all the best deals and submit them and put them into here. Honestly, by the way, that 149 right there is a great deal for a one series Apple Watch. I was like, I work at Best Buy and at Best Buy they're only selling for like 200 and like 50 something dollars, something like that. So you're literally saving 100 something dollars. So if you're looking for Apple Watch around this time, the day I post this video, Definitely go and buy that. I'm pretty sure I'm buying one of these for my mom for Mother's Day. But anyways, it shows you like some of the greatest deals on like just all stuff, tech, um, protein, clothing, beds, shoes, appliances, stuff like that. Pretty interesting. Then you have the Apple Store, Amazon, Best Buy, eBay, Shop Savvy. So you'll basically take this, open it up, put it on anything that has a barcode. I wish I had something with a barcode around me. I don't. But you'll go up. It'll find it and it'll bring up like all different websites that will have that product in. Like I do it at Best Buy every now and then when I want to know if there's like something like another store that could be selling it cheaper. Usually my discount is obviously cheaper, but sometimes it's not. It just depends on the product. But it'll let you know where it's cheaper somewhere else. Like I know Best Buy was selling like a 75 inch TV, like 7 series. And I was like, all right, let's see where it's cheaper at. And it was like $3 cheaper at Walmart. Not a huge difference, but it still was a difference to know that. Then you have Walmart, uh, Groupon, then Best Buy Home. I just recently downloaded this. Um, as you can see, I haven't even used it yet. I have to sign in with my account. But it like it gives you information like on your products that you like buy. And it tells you like what's happening with them, like if they're ready to pick up and stuff like that instead of going through, like, through the email then it shows you all the products that you've recently bought and stuff like that uh, eSpade another like shopping website Wish then GameStop Goat is a shoe website or app or whatever 
but if you're like really into shoes, this is definitely an app you want to download because it'll give you all the recent pair of shoes. Like all the top people that release shoes go to this app and they, uh, this is where they buy shoes because they're re usually released on here before they get released somewhere else. So you have a better chance of buying them on here than you would trying to buy them from like an actual store. Then QR Reader is like the little QR codes that you see on like price tags. Like usually it's up on the right hand corner or bottom left hand corner. It's, you, you'll see it on the price tags. It's just like a really funky like looking square thing. Then next we have games, uh, the PlayStation app, Messenger Communication. Um, this app right here, this PS4 uh, second screen, is so that like I can control stuff like using. You have to be on the same Wi-Fi, and I could use my second screen from my PlayStation. You just basically mirror it. You can use some of the settings on here. Then I have Xbox, Twitch, then the Nintendo Switch. Then entertainment. Obviously, I said I had Amazon Prime earlier, so I have Amazon Video, Watch ESPN, uh, Fox Sports, Netflix, Hulu, Sony Crackle, and then Ted. Ted is basically like. Um, web like uh, conference app thing for like technology that you don't really hear much of and it's not on TV and stuff like that that's where you go to learn more about it then health then you have abs and core and it's a great thing it's free uh, you can do anywhere between like five minutes or even technically less if you put in the time all the way up to 60 seconds for abs and core workout and then then the, the next app is uh, GIF or whatever you want to pronounce that. It is a uh, workout app. It records everything. It's free. It's really nice. Then the next one we have is all my food stuff. So like McDonald's, Blazing Rewards, Wendy's, Burger King, Chipotle, Domino's, Pizza Hut, Chick-fil-A, Subway, um, Group Hug, and DoorDash. Both of these are food places that are deliver food. So usually when I'm at Best Buy, me and my other coworker will buy stuff off of here. You do pay delivery and the fee on the products like if you bought pizza you would pay for the pizza then you would pay for the deliver guy to deliver to deliver the pizza then you pay like the driving fee to get it to you kind of stupid but it's worth it if you don't want to go out and drive and stuff like that so the next one we have movies so I have IMDB then Flamingo then trailers then uh, Flex are all movie apps basically. Then the next thing I have is sports, ESPN, and at bat. That's all baseball right there. Then the next one we have is productivity, docs, drives, Google Photos, slides, Outlook, OneDrive, Google Calendar, HP Smart, and Dropbox. This is all basically for school stuff like that that I use for school if I want to access something on my phone and not use my computer. Next, these are all my new stuff. So, Buzz videos, Reddit, and Flipboard are all like places to learn about like tech and random stuff that happens in this world that you don't want to watch the news for. Then I have Fire TV, uh, speed test to test the Wi-Fi speeds and stuff like that. Then I have Yahoo Finance. I'm not into stock or anything like that yet, but I'm trying to get into it and learn more about it. So I'm I'm trying to do some more research with that. Then Zedge is a wallpaper background download then this is canvas so when you go to college most colleges have canvas and you can download the app and you can see like when all your homeworks do and all your assignments and stuff like that if you weren't around your computer and stuff like that then smart view this is like for Samsung TV so you can mirror like your your phone to your TV vice versa stuff like that you can use your phone as like a remote stuff like that then one notes I'm gonna start using this as like taking notes and stuff like that when I have reminders and stuff like that that are way too long and they're not really a to do thing to do they're just they're just like more stuff that I need to do then universal remote I downloaded this but I don't really think it works too well I tried to use it on our smart TV Samsung that's upstairs and it wasn't really working so I'm gonna figure out if that is like a scam type thing or if it really works then last app I have here is my Verizon it so basically just tells you like how much your payments are and how much data you're using and stuff like that. So there you go guys. There's there's really not that much on here. Let's see. I'm going to go in my settings real quick and I'll show you you guys how much is on here. So about so I have 120 applications, the 64 uh, gig model and there's 34.99 gigabytes left. So I mean, I really haven't really filled this up. 
but I'll probably download a lot more later on. But if you guys have any recommendations for like apps or anything that I should download or try out, 100% leave them down in the comments. I'll definitely download them, try them out, and if I like them enough, I'll probably do a video on them or do a video on like more than one. If like more than people comment down here and let me know about certain apps to try out or they've seen or found that are really good. Like I'm a big person of like trying to save money and trying to find like the best deals that are out. And then obviously kind of like looking like news and stuff, looking about new tech and stuff like that because obviously I'm doing this tech channel and I'm trying to get better at doing all this and uploading videos and stuff like that. So if you find stuff out there that will make my life easier, definitely I'll, I'll definitely try it out and I'll let you guys know. I'll do a video about it one day and let you guys know what's going on. But thanks for watching guys. Peace.